Hey y'all. Oh, I need some chapstick. Hold on. Let me get my life together real quick. <sighs> hey y'all. Hey Aventure. Okay. So you know. It's not serious issues. <laughs> it's just regular regular issues that I'm sure we've all experienced. I'm trying to wait. Okay, here we go. Y'all, I love this stuff. Laneige. It used to be in the little tube. Hey, hey. 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 How are you? Y'all, I was cooking. I Sorry. I figured I was like, you know, we normally do our little powwow. And I'm like, let me... <laughs> You over there being a wife? Oh, girl, I was being a wifey. Can you being see? Being a wife. Where's Cherie? Cherie. You, you know, if we don't start on time, she might, you know. <laughs> no, she, I'm accepting. Oh. It's just not coming. Okay, off. okay. She's here. Oh, oh, come on. I'm clicking accept and it's not working. So I don't know what to do. Oh, there she is. Oh. What you saying? Say it again. Now that I'm <laughs> I, I say, hey, you know, if we're not on time with Cherie. <laughs> I need to Move on to the next. Move on to the next. Yeah, yeah. A little higher. You look cute. You do look cute. Where are you coming from? Do you have like a ring lighter? Like, what? what's the light? Um, I, I had to do some stuff today for work. So, oh, like, oh, what's your dress? Light. It's just angle over here. dress for work. <laughs> okay. 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 All right, so it's been a minute. I know we're, we're trying to do these things once a month, yes. and I feel like we've been consistent with it. So the last time we talked about the wedding stuff, and it's been a whole month <laughs> since then. Um, so today I just wanted us to focus on, you know, when you lose motivation. I know I've been in a space probably for the last month of just really lacking motivation and sort of being in my low time, um, which is why I have not posted on social media. Um, so just wanted to sort of have an honest conversation. Um, I don't know what happened to Shereen. Do we need to like invite her back in? I don't know what happened. It's buffering. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, hey, Jacksonville. Hey, baby. Oh, thank you. It's your three pretty best friends. Oh, thanks, Floyd. Okay, you want to get it started? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, with three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I just wanted to talk about like how we are able to support each other when we hit our lows and maybe leave some tips on how to sort of get the motivation and the momentum started because Life is lifing, and you know, it's really important to have our friends um, for support. So, I just wanted to check in. Then, I, I'm gonna catch you up. I'm, I'm gonna do this honest on live because we were having a little group conversation while you were cooking. But, um, I recently got rejected from a therapist, so I will share that story, okay, <laughs> at some yeah. point. But that was another low on top of everything else that's, that's been happening. But, okay. um, I want to check in with you. How have you been since the wedding? I know we talked about it last last month but that was like um, right after i think immediately after the wedding i, I had a, a big slump because of just certain behaviors and certain things were brought to my attention so um i had a very low period for like three weeks after the wedding and i, I really had to climb myself out of a, a deep sadness because mm -hmm. i think weddings and major events like funerals they bring out certain character in people that it was already there you mm -hmm. know and you just have to make a choice of okay now i'm gonna move forward knowing this information or um yeah no i'm not gonna tolerate it and yeah. i'm gonna not tolerate it season yeah very much i'm not gonna tolerate it season yeah so, <laughs> so um so really deciding who i wanted in my future who i wanted to continue to build my family with and um you know my tolerance is like at an all-time low right now <laughs> yeah you know i'm happy in my 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 family my real friends my real family my real like supporters my husband 
you know, all that stuff is good. Yeah. It's, it's the revelation of the things that aren't real. Yeah. That kind of hurt my feelings. Yeah. You know, it kind of hurt, hurt my feelings, really. Yeah. Um, so just having those epiphanies, um, I just had to really, and I've been journaling every day, still doing the journal challenge. Have you started the journal challenge? challenge? So, you know what? I, I did. I actually journaled. So, like I said, we, it's so funny because I feel like we hit our lows at the same time. And I feel like we handle it a little different because when I hit my low, I go into hiding. And it's so funny because I feel like you, like we sense each other. So, like, you'll call me out and be like, I haven't heard from you. Like, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, my God. And I feel like that's the time to where it's like I just have to acknowledge that this is a space that I am and also be accepting of like the support that you all are willing to give. Um, so one of my things that I did today was to journal. Like I went to, the, I got back to the gym. Before I walked in the gym, I pulled out my journal and I started writing. And it's the little things that, that I forget, you know, just learning how to reconnect to self. Um, I started listening to my gospel music. Um, but sometimes when you get so pulled away from that it, it gets you, you just forget you know you're in analysis paralysis so i did journal today analysis paralysis Come analysis on. paralysis just like <laughs> i don't know what's happening and then especially if you keep getting hit 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 right. um it can be very overwhelming so journaling did help i did that today sitting in the parking lot before i went to the gym good good, yeah. good. yeah what have some of your journal prompts been i'm curious and i can tell you um sort of what i did today I don't know what's up with her phone. It's so weird. Say that one time? No. No, like what were your journal prompts? Like how do you start like your journaling session? In the oh, yeah. I, I literally, I literally, someone recorded me writing in my journal and I was like, first entry, I need caffeine. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I don't, I don't have a type A, like, I, I literally open my journal and my first thought goes on the page. Mm. So the first mm. thing that I can think about, it goes on the page. Yeah. So if I'm like, oh man, I'm hungry. That's going on the page. Yeah. Like, uh, and then I just go from there. Yeah. And then I work uh, through whatever I have going on. So if it's like, oh man, I forgot to take the chicken out. Mm -hmm. That's going on the page. Like, mm -hmm. I don't care how mundane it is because it's a thought that's consuming my mind and I need it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I need it out of yeah. here. I need it yeah. out of here. It's not important. Yeah. <laughs> I got bigger thoughts that I need to to come up, yeah. you know, so I get, uh, get the easy ones out of the way because mm -hmm. if I'm like, oh, and, and I mean, give me an example of a good journal prompt. Um, what do you need? What do you need today? What do I, what I need? It, that I feel like for me, it's going to, it's intimidating. Mm -hmm. it's, like, mm -hmm. like, it's like, I don't. Now I gotta. Now I have to think about something before I've even expressed myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have yeah, to think about yeah. answering a hard question. You know, and then sometimes me saying I need to take the chicken out and I need to, you know, plug That's the car up. Or That's a need. Something. That is <laughs> a need. A need. Uh -huh. That is a need. And, yeah, and, and, and and sometimes it's just it comes out without having to do the pre work of like thinking yeah. hard. You you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, yeah one yeah. of the things that I kept getting from people when they were like, "Why I don't journal?" It's like, what do what do I journal about? And it's I'm hard. Like, it's not. Well, okay. So, so the way my mind thinks, I'm I'm all about emotions, and emotions for me lately have been really big. So my journal looks very different than I need to take the chicken out. It's like, hey, girl, you gotta pick yourself up. You can do this. I know you've been down. Blah 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 blah. So I, I try to talk in in that aspect, which sometimes can be very big, being that I've been dealing with big emotions like for the last four weeks. So, but maybe that's the issue. When things are big, we have to learn how to make it small to be like, okay, what is a little baby need? Like, what is what is the basic need? Not the big emotional. You need. taught me that. The basic need. You literally taught me that. <laughs> You literally taught me that. You were like, what is the most basic need? Let's start with the, the smallest, minute basic. need that can be satisfied and go from there. Because I remember what were you thinking about the Tell me that today. I'm sitting up here trying to journal like <laughs> my life story and my big resolve of how I'm going to get out of this space. I, I, think I, I think we talked about it yesterday when I was like, what's the easiest thing? Even with promoting this, you were like, oh I can't find a picture. Yeah. You were like, I can't find a picture to promote this. And I was like, you don't need a picture. 
Yeah. I'm so grateful for our friendship because we're so much alike, but we're so different. And I think our difference, differences help each other in the time of need. It's true. You know? Um, it's true. Yeah, because it, it has been a while. I have not posted on my business page since our last live. So I think this was one symbolism of like pushing through. Like I got to do something. I don't feel like doing anything. I got to do something. But I think lately, um, and, and I think it's a universal lesson. I'm trying to learn how to be okay when things don't go my way, which is a big lesson for me. Right. But once again, so I like, you know, had a picture of all three of us and Shree was like, absolutely not. Okay, she was like, I don't care, but I don't like it. And I'm like, oh my God, analysis paralysis. I'm like, I'm not doing this shit. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I can't find a picture. So I'm calling Cage and I'm like, I can't find a picture, blah, 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 blah. And once again, it's like, it, it's just about showing up. Right. You know, it's not all about finding the right picture, the right font, the right color, but sometimes we have to learn how to break it down. Um, yeah. and, and sometimes we need our friends to say, hey, it doesn't have to be this big. Come on. This big. Where is Cherie? What is going on? Okay. okay, here we go. It's so funny. We were on a group chat and I was telling her my whole therapist story. She was like, can I give you feedback? Can I be honest with you? And I'm like, give me the cliff notes first, because she can be very direct. And I'm like, I'm in a vulnerable state because I feel like I just got rejected from a therapist and I'm a therapist. Um, I didn't even know people do that. But <laughs> I was like, give me the cliff notes of what you want to say. And she was like, it's about your value and your worth. And I was like, all right, tell me on the live. <laughs> no. no. You're going to tell me private. I'll tell you private. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Sheree. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, my phone. I don't know what's going on, so bear with me. Um, but I do not journal. I used to journal. Um, and if when I do get the motivation to journal, I've started. I have a book, and I write letters to my daughter oh. that I plan on giving her one day. And I started writing them when I was pregnant. Um, and whenever I get the motivation to write something, I write in this one journal something to her either my history what i'm going through right now or what i want for her in the future or you know today i was at your fifth grade graduation and i was Aww. so proud because of such and such i mean it's just different things um which i probably should do it very soon to be like i get anxiety when you're driving on the highway right because she just mm -hmm. turned 16 but yeah so i when I journal now, it's usually because I'm writing a letter in my journal to my daughter. So how do you get yourself out of a funk? Um, I don't know if you heard, but KJ and I, we sort of hit our lows at the same time. Yeah. And I started what? retreating and she called me out on it because she felt my energy. And, and that actually helped. Like it was sort of that jump start of like, all right, girl, you know? I don't get like, you know, sometimes when you wake up and you be like, dang, I'm not motivated. Or you realize a couple of days, you're like, I'm not motivated. You think something is wrong that you're not yeah. motivated. Yeah. I do not feel bad about being motivated anymore. I, I deserve to take a day or two off, a week <laughs> off if I want to, and a month, right? So I no longer feel any type of way about not being motivated. I think it's okay to lose your motivation sometimes. I think it's normal to lose your motivation sometimes. And when I find myself that I've lost my motivation, I want to know why. So I really go to why, what's going on? Am I stressed? Am I anxious about something? It, is something coming up that I, you know, that has my focus? Am I just unhappy with a circumstance that has happened that I'm still dwelling in that I think I moved on, but I'm still mm -hmm. thinking about it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I'll think about like what may have caused that lack of motivation, but I always just feel like, it's just a cycle and it's okay. And I'm not going, it will come back. And when it comes back, you guys know how I am. I'm like a oh, hamster on a, on a yeah. wheel, right? I'm yeah. going, going, going. Yeah. So when I lose my motivation, I take that as a time to rest and mm -hmm. relax because I need it. I deserve mm -hmm. it. And without losing my motivation, I might not even take those breaks when I need them. Yeah. Um, so I try to, instead of going to the, Deflecting to the negative of losing my motivation, I try to look at it as a positive because I'm too driven of a person to ever stay unmotivated, right? Mm. Like, I'm going to get back motivated. So I'm like, all right, well, I lost it. Why did you call mystery when I lost my motivation? What, you, well, you, didn't get the, you didn't get the signal? I, I mean, I, I saw the message and I said, she'll be okay. <laughs> she'll get it back. <laughs> Which is true, which is true. And yeah. I do think, 
you know, we, we, well, me, I'll speak for myself, just being a business owner, there's so many expectations. Like, you know, I'm doing a whole rebranding, changing the name, and we're supposed to do a photo shoot, and I had a makeup artist and photographer, and one of my um, employees couldn't show up because she was sick. So then everything got canceled. Um, and I think from that moment, um, I just feel like, disappointments became more loud and clear because that was like my focus like that one disappointment sort of took um over sort of how life was happening so any little thing that maybe i wouldn't have paid attention to because i was already in this space of lack of motivation experience of disappointment it literally became a self-fulfilling prophecy and i'm like oh my god like i need to hit the stop sign <laughs> because my my lens have changed you know yeah. so just to hear your perspective because you're not in the same space and be like no, I'm, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a person that's lazy. I'm not a person that just sits around. I mean, I love know, that business. perspective. Yeah. yeah. So just, you and know, I, I'm under- sorry. I didn't call you. Oh. <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, Jessica's on there. The chat GPT therapist. Yes. I'm going to share that story. That actually I, today, so I, felt I really, I think, you know, you'll be okay. Okay. And at the end of the day, it's kind of like you are a black woman and a business owner and a mother. And if the if the pitfall of your day is that somebody got sick and the photo shoot was canceled, it's a good damn day. Like that's a good perspective. That's, yeah. that's a good perspective. That's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Of everything, of all the hats that you wear, there's so many things that could have happened. So yeah. if that's what disturbed your day. That yeah. means your life is going very I well. Know. And and it's so interesting because I, I use this analogy that, you know, life is, is a big picture, right? So there there's so many different pictures and colors on, on this one like um, platform. But when one thing happens, like a disappointment happens, we become like, or me, um, become laser focused. And so now this picture becomes this dot. And the dot mm. is I had to cancel my photo shoot. You know, the dot is I tried to get help for myself, you know, and a therapist rejected me or did that. And so I, I'm not able to see the big picture, even though there's so many different other, you're right, you know, sure. um, but it, it takes a shift of perspective to be like, I only see this one dot and woe is me. And, you know, we just have the self-fulfilling prophecy of like, okay, bad things are happening to me, but we got to zoom out. I got to zoom out and see the, the big Do you picture. mind sharing your, you know, some of therapists rejecting you? Yes. Yeah, no, 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 I don't mind at all. So um, I, I went through a lot four years ago. I got a divorce, just life literally went upside down. And I had to figure out how to adults at um, this big age. Um, and so I had a therapist, she was great. She took me through my crisis mode. Um, and I felt like we got in a good space of just light maintenance. I was paying out of pocket and I'm like, I don't want to pay this amount of money just to like have tea time. So um, I started navigating life on my own, but now I just just feel like I hit a space where I just need support. You know, like there's other things that happen, um, just being a single mom, being a, a homeowner and stuff like that. And my friends are great, but as I being a therapist, a good therapist has a therapist. So it was a lot of build up to try to figure out, okay, who's going to be a good fit for me? Um, so I was referred to this therapist that I follow on Instagram, you know, um, I speak highly of her or, you know, she has good material. She was already vetted by somebody that I trust. And so today was a day where I, well, actually yesterday I called and left a voicemail and I got a response via text and it was like, Hey, thanks for reaching out. You know, can you let me know what your issue is without going into detail? So that seems really formal. I mean, I would have preferred a, a phone call back, but hey, I understand it's 2023. And so I was like, hey, you know, I went through a lot over the last four years. I had support from a therapist who was great. Now I'm just in a position to where I just want support. I want to save space. Um, I have really bad anxiety. So I want to, you know, learn grounded techniques or freshen up on grounded techniques or be open to other methods that maybe I don't practice. And um, so then the response sort of reminded me like of a chat GPT, like, oh, that's good to hear. Can you let me know on a scale of one to four, like the urgency of needing help? You know, one being that you got it, it's not an urgent thing, or four being you needed help yesterday. And I'm like, oh, I'm at a one. And then she, or I think it's a robot, responded and like sort of regurgitated everything to say, oh, so I hear that you want to deal with this and you want to deal with this. And it's not urgent. Do I have everything corrected? And I'm like, yes. 
And then the response was, oh, well, I don't think my expertise is going to fit your needs. Um, like this whole like response of like, and if you would like, I will refer you to other therapists. And I'm like, no, thank you. And so <laughs> the build up of being willing to try someone new, and this was a private paid therapist, doesn't accept insurance. The rate was That's higher than what I would why <laughs> because i'm like if i'm paying you money like meet me where i am so that yeah means... but everybody's business is, you know as a business owner every business ain't good business so whether they're paying no. on insurance or cash See, it doesn't I'm matter like, friend, kj help me because she because mm -mm. was trying and i was like mm -mm. it just doesn't feel well, right i thought like, mm -mm. you no, know what you know what i said that. i won't say on live what i actually said about check the check the group chat what I actually okay said. <laughs> friend no that's unacceptable no right? and, that, and that's extremely disappointing because this is a medium where i'm asking for help and to be that impersonal is 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 already letting me know what our relationship will be like that's not cool at all and it, it seems extremely out of place for that profession it seems i extremely agree out of and place. i'm like so you only want to work with urgent clients because I don't yeah. want like maintenance. So like, can we look at it things. from a different lens? Like, yes, it's not the I best. I don't know if I want your exponentially. I mean, you're good though, but we don't. But <laughs> I'm thinking about this. Why, why focus on the rejection as opposed to saying, hey, it's a door that's closed. But this door that closed probably wasn't a door I needed to walk through anyways. I, I don't even like that the door is electronic. I mean, like the door is closed and now you're available to go to someone that you can start your relationship probably on a better note someone that's more personable but like, then i i feel like something was wrong with me because you know even with your therapist we had an issue with the business practice so i'm like okay i have my own practice is there something about me that just has i think realistic expectations for how someone should run a business and honestly i empathize with clients who are trying to find a therapist because it is like finding a good relationship and it's not easy it's a very vulnerable space to be in and like i said even though i'm a therapist whatever just me coming from the side of being a client trying to seek out support um i just would have never thought to have that experience in a million years and it was referred to me by my friend who was a therapist so and and we have our thing in, in the group practice like if it's a referral it's sort of like all right we really look out for this person you know so the fact that it went about that way it was shocking i literally like screenshot it like my friends would be like can you believe this happened no. <laughs> like who oh, rejects that's somebody crazy. that's you know? crazy no yeah. that is crazy it's like if i went to one of my peers and i was like hey, could you assist me with an audition or a performance? And then they were like, um, how urgent is yeah. this for you? Uh, then you don't need my help because it's like, I'm also in your profession and you know that I came highly recommended right. from your friend or whatever. Yeah. So it's, it's mostly, it's, we don't like the disrespect. It's the disrespect for me. It's the disrespect, it's the disrespect. for it's me. Not, it's like disrespect and disappointment. Yeah. And those two yeah. things, those two things is D and D. We don't like that. Yeah. We don't like that. We don't yeah. like that. It's, it's not even that. It's not even like, oh, well, that's the way they handle their business. It's like, yeah, but if their business is disrespecting their clients, then it's a bigger issue. And no, it's nothing she can do about it. She can't tell nobody how to run their business. But I would feel disrespected, and I would feel I would I wouldn't necessarily sit in it. But I would consider it a L for that moment, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can receive that, and I understand that. But I'm like, I'm not gonna give it yeah. the time of day. Like, yeah, you don't. I, you're not I, giving I it the energy. Yeah, yeah, you're not it's not. The I got time today. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I got time today. <laughs> Which I respect that. Now, where did Jessica go? Now, we're going to get this together. When I said, oh, I'm like, it me. was her loss as a therapist, as a business. Um, and I'm willing to write a negative Google review. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hit a button. Jessica, um, oh, I yeah, but, but I think the timing of that right. happening, because I think it was one of my tasks. Okay, let's read. Let's read some of the comments with this so we motivation. Can get it was like, now. all right, I need to go back to the gym. I need to journal. Um, I need to contact a therapist. Yeah, so exactly. I think for that to happen, said, once again, it's like, how do you push past? She's not a hundred. Oh, 
Can you hear me? Yeah, but Kay, can you not hear Kay? She's like talking. She's like reading oh, comments. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I can't. Hers is buffering. I'm going to wait. Yeah, Jessica is here. KJ is here. KJ's reading comments, and Jessica's still talking about how she hates her. <laughs> how I can't read Jessica no, at all. Hers is buffering, so I'm going to wait. Know, I'm gonna wait. You know what it is. It's probably Instagram doing a new update or something. Uh, Jay Price. Yes, I would do the same thing. It says Jess is unable to join. She just left again. Has everybody done the new iOS 17 update and all the <laughs> updates that come with it? Oh, maybe I haven't. Make sure everyone's compatible when they're on the platforms. <laughs> ah! So we're talking um, about losing motivation in the comments, you know, when you guys lose motivation, what do you do to do. regain your motivation? Yes, that's a good question. I and also, like are you make... writing in your journals? Journal challenges still happening. Journaling is good for motivation. Finding, you know, your happy spot, I think. Doing something that makes you happy is really good. So getting back motivated, spending time with family, friends, or by yourself, going to therapy. I'm not seeing any of these comments. <laughs> what is ha happening with my Instagram? I need to do that. Oh, am I back? Yes, you you're back. Okay. Yes. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I rest and I take time for me. I just finished my 13th journal. Ooh. I wonder how many journals I have. I have a ton. You. You've been journaling a lot, friend. Yeah. Like, life. I, I Do you have. go back and read them? Yeah. I got it right here. I go back and read them all the time. Uh, I yeah, right I've here. been journaling I, I, myself probably since, like, middle school. Um, I obviously stopped, I think, just as an adult, you know, life or whatever. But it's it's worth going back to it, Cherie. And, I, I mean, I would really... I challenge you to think about giving yourself an opportunity to write to yourself and not just your daughter yeah. because you know you may want to look back on yourself and you know you know me if i write to myself it's gonna be like bitch you are the shit <laughs> like, <laughs> well that's good doing your that's thing what like. <laughs> that's what we like y'all look at all i'm gonna start i'm gonna start every page like that <laughs> look at all these journals these are all my journals oh my i just got i just got journals this. wow Okay, are you up for a challenge, Kay? Like, I want you to choose a random journal and a random page. Could you, like, oh, say less. Yes. yes, like close your eyes and choose one, and then just like bam. All right, I will uh, look at it first before um, the page first. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, actually, how about I let y'all pick? Okay. Look, look. All right. So somebody choose. The journal. That one. How are we going to do this? Oh, oh, no, go back. Sharice said the other one. Yep, that one. Okay. Oh, okay, ready? Yep, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's okay. the date? What's it, the date in a year? It says March 18th. Is that this real? <laughs> no. What Let's year? see what year this is. What year is this? I don't even know what, how I would... I don't think I put any years on here. Okay. I, okay. I didn't even realize it. I didn't, it oh, oh, nine. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is going on. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I, I want to get my little cup. This is, listen. Yeah, yeah this, this is on here. Oh, no, no. It must be 10 because this is June. Oh, nine. That's still, yeah. I've been, I've been journaling since I was five. Okay, can, so, if anybody on here is from Tallahassee, I made a little top light delight before I joined the call. It's a, you know, Hennessy lemonade. Um, <laughs> <laughs> These are my, my New Year's resolutions that I wrote out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. All right. So you ready? To read yes. it? You ready for me to read it? Yes. Let's hear it. Thank God for Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. For I know the plans I have for you: plans to prosper you and not harm you; plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you for another amazing shoot. Thank you for the yummy McDonald's oatmeal. Thank you for providing all of my needs, even when I didn't know what a need was. That was it. That's the entry. Wow. So 318. And then I got 319 right there. 
and then I, I that's I would literally just write a thought and then close it and then write another thought on another day um on oh, 319 I say thank God for my sister and her relationship that she has found someone to love thank you for my parents and that and the love that they share thanks for Michelle and her friend Zoe that they care about each other now who is Michelle and Zoe <laughs> Well, thank God for the <laughs> Thank you for the NCAA tournament. Thank you for this rainy day. Thank you for sending your son to die for our sins. Thank you for granting us the desires of your heart. My goal for 2010 has to be 117 pounds. I did not accomplish that goal. I am. Oh, I guess I did. I said I am currently 115. Okay. I guess I was trying to gain weight. Um, Jessica. Thank you for this. Happy to hear that, huh? I said, just as happy yeah. to hear that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah. even you know, realize I got that small. That's great. Yeah. Thank you for the ability to change my mind and have free will. Thank you for being my doctor and healing me. Thank you for allowing me to find myself by continually seeking you. Thank you. I was very thankful in 2009. Yeah, I feel like you were in touch with the spirituality. Like for you were. Sure. Yeah. Wow. That's, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. I save everything. I think I just wrote this randomly. It's just random stuff. Wow, this is crazy. I just, I would just write. I would just open yeah. whatever I had and write and then put it in my journal later. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I was I was talking to um my my therapist friend and who's sort, sort of been helping me uh, what this is, is like that the house, house that I wanted to live in oh in my God. Hills. I saved it I'm gonna keep it out it it, it looks similar to, to it looks like it looks, it looks, like it looks very familiar <laughs> it looks like our <laughs> it looks very familiar look at that manifesting that's crazy yeah that's, that's crazy, crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Um, one of the things that sort of got me back to journaling is I was talking to um, a good friend of mine who's a therapist, and um, one thing that she said to me is, "You gotta, you gotta remember to protect your soul." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I received that, you know, because sometimes, well, for me, you know, getting so caught up in the day to day that we forget, or I forget that there's a real soul, like a spiritual being inside of there. So I think for me, journaling helps me connect to that part um, and, you know, getting in a space of encouraging, you know, and healing that part and nurturing that part. Um, and that brings, it brings peace. That's what I said. I hate when I forget and I get so far away from it to say, hey, you could literally pull out like pen and paper and just start writing to, to reconnect to that part. So, yeah. What what are some of these comments about? I don't know. My comments are frozen, so I can't see what's going on over there. Let me see. Um, let me see the gold bookmark with the diamond on it. I couldn't find it on Be Rooted. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out soon. So if y'all are going on Be Rooted, the bookmark is going crazy. Everyone's really, it's really popular. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm actually going to start a new book um soon because i stopped reading i started journaling and stopped reading and i don't want to do that i want mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um so the bookmark is coming out soon um it'll be available soon so you you guys will be able to see that um gratitude is high frequency oh Ooh, come through what's that Ooh, i gotta tweet that coming. i gotta tweet that that is ceo princess oh yeah i gotta a tweet that princess that. would say that of course <laughs> True. Gratitude is high frequency. Yeah, chew on that. Somebody said they started journaling in middle school. Um, um, let me see. Now, uh, what else? No one. Has Make a sure good you guys book. write the years down in your journals. Yeah. Oh yes, definitely That's something important. I learned. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. just by reflecting. I want you to. I want you to reveal one of your journals, Jessica. You got one on. on yeah, here? let me. Um, let's see. Not, I don't like the month of March. Why, me, Cope? <laughs> Why you don't like the month of March? What? <laughs> the spring is coming. Exactly. Thank you, Lynn Quinn. Oh, your birthday is March 14.
Somebody said my <laughs> sister girl next door said my problem is one entry will be January one, twenty twenty three, and the next will be January one, twenty twenty four. That's okay. You, you just keep going. Uh, <laughs> the first of every year. That's gonna be your one book in life. <laughs> I will not accept that. I literally I challenge you to do once a week at least. Man, What's that? Like, Someone said, um, uh, the sister girl next door said, um, my, my problem is one journal entry will be January 20, January 1st, 2023. And the next will be January 1st, 2024. <laughs> That's a lot of life to catch up on. <laughs> uh, I vacillate between letting people live and be great and challenging them to do what's right. What I think is right. I'm like, you're, you're Sheree is like, yes, you're fine. You're doing well. I'm like, absolutely not unacceptable. Write it down. <laughs> it's usually the opposite. Usually it's I'm usually the opposite. I'm usually like, keep that. It's not acceptable. Do you want to change your life or not? Do you want to? Do you want it as bad as you can breathe or not? Yeah, because I don't want to hear about you wanting to change and you don't do nothing. <laughs> That's a fact. Talk to your mama. Don't talk to me. Like, CEO Prince. Says, says i love going back and reading to see the growth in my language and communication me too yeah yeah that's true, true. oh this is oh. uh-uh you cannot look at it you have to just open it up you know what this was um well the old ones now the new ones you might need to look at it <laughs> yeah this, this is this is like <laughs> this is goal. you know i wrote down goals for 2022 i could go over that is that that's boring that's boring hey, yeah boring. um okay where are my knees you see me talking to she, she allowed her she volunteered herself to get buckets of water dumped on her head at school to raise money for a charity oh okay that's worth it and her shoes are now wet how's the hair Thankfully, she has braids. Oh, good. Okay. Smart girl. Mm -hmm. What okay, okay. Stephanie I'm said? Okay. You know what? I I wrote this today. I'll do the one I wrote today. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So I sort of like summarized um, what's been going on in my life as far as relationships. So at the end, I wrote a little letter to myself. And I said, um, Jessica, you are learning how to live. It is not easy, but you are choosing your life and making decisions. You deserve the world and to become bigger. Don't settle in comfort or allow people to pull you down. You are a queen who deserves to experience everything your heart desires. Push through, and push through the fear. Good things come to you. Attract bigger than you think. Greatness is around the corner. Aww. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. That's what I wrote today. That's beautiful. Yeah, trying to get myself out of this little space. So, you know, they say fake it until you make it. So you got to write. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> write I those encouraging letters. So I agree with that. Yeah. And then you start believing it. Yeah, repetition creates belief. So. Oh, oh man, now I have to go get me a Be Rooted um, journal. Dude, you, you need one. You I get it. Them. They're gorgeous. And even just looking at them, it, it, it has, like, motivation on the top of it. You got, like, friend, please. Like, I don't want you to miss this opportunity. Because, like, journaling is so, it does so many things. And it's so good for your mental health. Like, you're, Sharice is the strong friend. I'll tell you that. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sharice is the strong friend. <laughs> so, when well, I, I say, when they say check crying. on your strong <laughs> When I see when I see that gif like where it's like check on your strong friends it's always Sharia yeah on. she's the first person. Uh, yeah 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 but it's like that is yours like your journal is yours for you Ooh. and every like your thoughts everything you need to mm -hmm. even discover more of that yeah. I don't know I feel like I should be like <laughs> I also think it's a place for manifesting right so we can yes. sort of connect to where we are in the present but also speak things in the future and manifestations i'm a big manifester i believe in it um so that's why i think today it was important for me to like manifest that i know bigger things are coming you know yeah. there's always um, a storm before the the sun and i'm like okay i know i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i'm feeling it and to me it's like the more intense that i feel the low i'm like that means i'm getting ready 
for this to crisis. have a breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, just being in comfort for so long, um, it can feel like you're lacking motivation. But it's like, I know that there's things happening behind the scenes. Yeah. It's just not happening the way that I want, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening, you know? So once again, to shift perspectives a little bit um, and actually writing that encouraging letter, it's manifesting like, hey girl, you know, it's gonna happen, yeah. it's gonna happen. <laughs> you're feeling this now, but you're feeling it now to prepare yourself for the big explosion. Cause I'm like, oh, okay, well, it's just gonna be a little thing here, but it's like, no, this has to be big. Yeah. Cause I'm feeling this big, so there yeah. has to be big things. I'm feeling, I'm feeling stretched. Yeah. Like, I feel like the more you feel stretched, the more, the bigger the blessing, oh, the bigger sure. the breakthrough. Sure. Like, yeah. it's like, oh, I have to learn patience. This is teaching me patience. Mm -hmm. This is teaching me to pay attention to details. Yeah. This is teaching me discernment. This is teaching me to honor uh, my myself, yeah. my self worth. This is teaching yeah. me to tell people my rate. This is yeah. teaching me to say no. This is teaching me that I've reached my limits. This is teaching me that I'm exhausted yeah. and I only can work these amount of hours a day. Yeah. Um, just to touch on, Cami said she was like you and that she thought that it had to be big and didn't have she didn't have any prompts to start with. So she felt like she couldn't mm -hmm. start. So I what agree. advice would you give? What advice, like, would, do you, because you said you work with prompts. So yeah. What, yeah. what What are your top, like, five prompts? Mm -hmm. I, I always go to, well, yeah. So I always go to the, what do you need? You know, um, and I think we discussed earlier, KJ, your needs are very basic for me. I'm always like, okay, well, I'm anxious, so I need to ground myself, you know? Um, then I say, okay, well, what do I know about this? I know that I am able to ground myself by going outside, or I can ground myself by taking deep breaths. Um, and then what does execution look like? Mm -hmm. Execution, I'm going to do it now, or after I finish this session, I'm gonna go out and execute to meet my needs. So I call it the need, the know, the execution. Those mm -hmm. are my three um, that I go to that I think that can be applied every day. Um, that's good that works i like that, that. send those to me text that to me i didn't even know journal prompts was a thing until recently i saw it on tiktok and i was yeah, like and, oh and you this know, is what the new girls is doing and you can google it i mean you can literally google like and i do that sometimes with my clients like what are some journal prompts depending on um what they're going through so i think it just depends on your situation you know like if there's anxiety like what's the fear you know what's the worst mm -hmm. thing that can happen um you know have you been through the worst thing in the past okay well is it really that big you know because i think a lot of times with fear it's it's the unknown but it's like at this age we've been through a lot of unknowns and we persevered and we got over to the other side i was just talking um, to a client i was like what we know about life is that we get over to the other side yeah so breathing and we are here physically there is the other side and we can always see the other side that's good you know good. um we might not know what the crossover looks like but we know that we will cross over so just trying to hold on to those moments and rely on your friends, your support system to sort of help push you. Like that day that you called me, I'm like, girl, I'm having yeah. this work because you were I'm going tired. Through it. You were I'm going tired through of crossing it. this bridge, you know, yeah. by myself, so. I remember that. Yeah. And I always like to end my journals like on a positive note. Um, sometimes people just like have emotional diarrhea and then they leave on a negative note. So I'm always like, I need to have some hope I need to have some encouragement. So regardless of what's happening in the beginning, in the middle, the end has to have like hope and optimism. I never thought about that. Like yeah. actually closing. Oh, I have to close it up. Oh, yeah. You gotta close it. Cause we're not that's even good. if we don't have hope. That's, what are we doing? That's good. You know? So mm -hmm. so we have to create hope. We have to. No, no. Oh, seriously, that's really good advice because I've never thought about doing that. Mm -hmm. I would if it, if the day is like if there is a moment that I just I'm on a rampage and mm -hmm. I just I don't think about yeah. like on those days when I really need to get my thoughts out. I don't think about handwriting or nothing. I don't mm -hmm. think about writing on the lines or any of that. It's too much to think about. Mm -hmm. I just go crazy. I'm yeah. just getting it out and yeah. then I'll close the book. Yeah, but yeah, but that's a good point. I, I think that's great advice. That I'm yeah, gonna take. That. Um, Sarah Harmon said, "I didn't really journal until I became a mother. Now it has new meaning. It helps me keep track of the baby's milestones and memories." Mm -hmm. 
I wonder. And I think a good I, prompt is gratitude. What am I, what am I thankful for yeah, today? Yeah. Yeah. Today, what am I thankful for? Mm -hmm. Oh, I write even, down in, these even in the midst of turmoil, you know, you could be like, well, I'm thankful that I woke up today. Yeah. I'm yeah. thankful that I'm, you know, life is falling apart, but, you know, I, I have a home. Like, yeah. it'll help you to find some positivity in whatever's going on. Yeah. And I think that has to be a choice. It's not going to be a feeling because honestly, I'm like, I don't want to be thankful for nothing. And there is a lot to be thankful for, but I think working through um that feeling and saying you know what i can choose to be grateful you know even if like you said it's grateful that i can actually speak some people can't speak you know yes. um and just dig in deep to find I see you, some gratitude. yeah i, I agree i agree, I agree. Pers perspective is reality perspective is reality mm -hmm. so you can choose that perspective yeah because uh, it's easy to tell people like and especially in in the capacity that we're all in we're we're in a space where we're on certain platforms we're able to speak to people we speak to people constantly for our our job mm -hmm. and our business and to say hey you know you should try you know feeling better mm -hmm. it is not enough it's no. not it's no. like when, when young girls or or even young women come to me and they're like yeah i've been going through it i can't just be like oh feel better like that, that's yeah. not sense. Yeah. But if I say, hey, you know, can you name five things that you're grateful for right yeah. now in this moment? Yeah. I'm sure that in this moment, they're going to feel better. Yeah. And at least in yeah. this moment with me yeah. at, at this time. Yeah. And, um, and you know what? I, I always think that when people are like, hey, I'm going through it, you know, I love to say, well, what do you need when you're going through it? Because you might need space. You might need encouragement. You might need someone to say, hey, it's going to be okay. So I think we all have different needs. And I think it also challenges us as indi individuals to be clear on, okay, well, when you're going through difficult times, what do you need? Because we all have different needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's really important to sort of reflect back to say, okay, because when I have a diff difficult time, I don't want to be bothered. You know, when you have a difficult time, you might want a phone call. You might want somebody to come over and eat popcorn with you, you know? Um, so I think just being clear on when you go through that difficult time, what's going to work for you as it relates to being supportive. I, I have two questions for that. So one, I do want to address Cam. First of all, that's amazing. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Cammy mentioned, she said, um, Cammy, you own, you own it today. Okay. She said, I think I never wrote in a journal because that leaves you vulnerable if someone finds it and reads it. And a lot of people have been saying mm -hmm. that to me mm -hmm. and I, that, that really even really dawned on me that someone would violate me in that way yeah but that that is a real fear that people have been expressing to me over and over again when i'm like write in your journal um yeah. what, is, what are y'all's thoughts on that and how to overcome that like phantom and my a mind, is a mind as well and i have i have hidden my journals for myself before i'm like <laughs> what is this because i've hidden them right um yeah, it, I think that has always been a fear of mine. Like, what if someone reads them? So what I, what I do, so I, I love the journal, like the old-fashioned pen and paper, but I also have tons of notes <laughs> in my phone that, that are my journals. Um, so I don't know if that feels more safe. You know, if you have a lock on your phone. Um, face and ID. notes now with iPhone, you can put passwords or face yeah. ID required to mm -hmm. unlock it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I so think I I'm a little bit perplexed because if someone, the, the person that finds it has to be close to you. And if they're close to you and they read an entry that says, I mean, what's the worst that they could read, right? You know, I mean, what if you wrote assuming, it you were like molested as a child and you didn't want anyone to know? That's fair. That, now that's fair for sure. Um, that's fair. But the violation of someone doing that is worse, right? Yeah. Or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like now I I can no longer you can't be in my life anymore because you have violated me in a way that I'm uncomfortable with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think and it says I, a lot about that relationship. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, that's that, what I'm. Yes. That's what that, I'm saying. That'll give you information about that relationship and is give that. you more information about the people that are around yeah. you more yeah. so than your deepest darkest 
secret si situation. It will reveal that these people shouldn't be around you. Mm -hmm. Like if y'all came to my house and y'all went in that box and you opened any entry, I would be fine. I would be like, y'all already know this stuff. Like yeah. or a version of it or so what? But that's just like, weird you behavior. Like I would never think to go and like sneak around to look at your journal. That that's weird. It's a behavior. Real yeah. fear, and I'm and I, and I don't yeah. even know the answer to tell people like, oh, don't fear that. Like I can't even tell people that because it's not a fear that I have. So I'm not gonna dismiss somebody else's fear. Yeah. But it's very common that everyone yeah. is saying I don't want someone to read it. I mean, maybe and, and play. You know what? I, I have had um, people write and then tear it up. So I, I think the act of processing and writing it out, you know, could sort of be a baby step um, until you sort of maybe gain a different perspective of, I'm going to do this for me because the value of doing it is greater than the fear of the what if, you know? It could right. happen. Because what if it doesn't happen? Right. What if it doesn't happen? So we're missing out on this whole experience because the fear. And I, I there is no greater fear. I just feel like fear is across the board. So the fear of, you know, someone reading the journal, the fear of spiders, the fear of water, whatever it is, fear is fear, you know, and I just feel like you tackle it the same way. There has do to you, would you say as the licensed therapist mm -hmm. in this chat that the fear of wanting, the fear of not wanting to write out or process your emotions on pen and paper is it, it is maybe going to keep you in a state of bondage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A state of bondage, a state of resistance. Um, I do think that if people are new to dealing with feelings, regulating emotions, it can be scary because it's like, well, if I start writing, what if I can't come out of it? Like, what if it puts me in a space that I don't have support to sort of reel it back in? Um, so I do think it depends on your trauma, your past, the vulnerability. Um, if you need support to start journal journaling, um, that would be something to think about. But um, I do think that you don't know unless you try. So if you have a real experience to say, hey, I tried it, someone violated it, you know, and now I have the fear of not writing, then that's a whole different ballgame. But if the fear is what if, then I think you owe it to yourself to sort of push past that. Mm. Yeah. So, um, Coupon World said, I, I've had a journal read and I felt very violated after. Mm. What do you suggest that someone does after if that happens? Um, number one, I, I think it's like we talked about, it's a bigger issue, you know, reevaluate the relationship. I do think because that's a real experience for that person to put in safety measures. So maybe that would be the person that writes on the phone or, you know, having the face ID or the password protected. Um, there's so many apps, I'm assuming, um, that you can download where there is privacy um, methods that can be installed. So I do think if that's a real experience for you, then you would just have to go down a different route of seeing what that privacy protection looks like. I, I would do it on the phone and make sure that it's protected that way. I, I want to say, I know we're about to get off here, but I did. So Chandra says some people have folks close to them that they don't feel emotionally safe with. And I think, um, I That's think a whole nother topic. I was about to say, I was about to say, <laughs> like, baby. Cause wait, mm. cause wait, the people around you, you're concerned that they're going to go into your things and read your things and violate you in that way. Then maybe, these people shouldn't be around you. Yeah. But or, or once you could feel emotionally unsafe around parents, siblings. Oh. And oh. sometimes you don't have the tools to separate yourself or to handle those relationships. That's oh. what I'm saying. Like that can be a whole nother conversation. Um, and I think Jessica's given really good advice from a therapist perspective because I immediately went to violence and cursing when somebody violates you. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you do? <laughs> Where, where's the chair? Where's the chair? Where's the chair? That book? <laughs> Smack them with the <laughs> journal. <laughs> yeah. No, that's very. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I just think that's a real concern. Um, I, I wouldn't discredit voice memos once again on the phone. You know, being able to record yourself, save it, make sure it's password protected. 
Um, it is unfortunate that people are, and, and it happens all the time, you know, you have relationships where you don't feel emotionally safe. And I think that that's a bigger issue to dive into and, and a self-reflective thing um, to look at. You know, what is it about you that will continue to allow yourself to be around people that don't make you feel safe? And I know I struggle with protection. You know, my friends know I'm very free spirit, very naive. So protection is not high on my value system it should be but you know that could be an issue where you really don't know what that looks like so you constantly you know allow yourself to be around people that are emotionally unsafe because protection is just a skill set that needs to be worked on so. mm. and i'm too protected <laughs> yeah Cherie's very, very protective She's very protective would you well let me ask you this would you ever go into alana's journal would you ever read her journal <gasps> no Sheree, you answered that way too slow for me. Way too slow. <laughs> so she said, and for me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't know Alana was around. Oh, okay. Hey, Alana. Hey, baby girl. You know, I no would want. Like so here's, I think here's the thing, the thing about being a parent is I feel like I'm trying to develop a space of you can tell me anything. And then when you develop, when you think that you're developing that space and then they don't tell you any, everything, it's like, but why? And you feel like, like, why? Like, what's wrong with me that you don't, or how bad is it that you don't want to tell me? So mm -hmm. I think that's just more so a reflection of me and myself and my personal opinions and thoughts and feelings, not really necessarily her. Um, but I know how it feels to, to, feel like you have to protect your journal and you don't want anyone to read it and stuff. So that's, I think that's her safe space. You know, I mean, she probably has notes in her phone and if I'm going through her phone, I'm not going to ever look through her notes. I mean, I never even think to look does, through her notes. Does Alana have a journal? I don't know. Do you have a journal? Alana? No, no. Told me she started, she's, she's thinking about starting, but she does not. You should one. start it, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're at a perfect age to, journal and see where it takes thoughts mm -hmm. yeah yeah it says it, it's a lot of comments it's going crazy right now i can't even my comments are frozen i, I can't see anything so i'm like <laughs> flexibility um, and rigidity is journaling is my prompt from this discussion so that's what, what good. is it i love that she said flexibility versus rigidity uh, in journaling uh, is my yeah. prompt from this discussion and i love who, that who's Bridget, are you flexible? Um, it, she, she's saying be flexible oh, oh, okay. opposed oh. to yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like two yeah yeah it's two ways of being yeah. And, but the comments are going crazy. Um, but someone uh, CEO Princess oh. mentioned she said exactly oh, <laughs> yeah she's going crazy. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Um, who has a real relate? Okay, exactly. It could be someone who has a real relationship with you through blood. It's unfortunate feeling like family isn't to be trusted, but protecting yourself is a, a big part of that. Mm -hmm. Can we tell a live about navigating difficult relationships within your family, your family? Oh, I just cut somebody off today. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Tolerance. Yeah. Tolerance is on zero, baby. Yeah. Cause we ain't doing this. Can we, do a, can, can we do like a five minute sneak peek into what that conversation will be? And then we can sort of end it, like our thoughts on that. <laughs> yes, sure. I love it. It's my favorite. Like, you're not going to be toxic in my life. I'm not having it. I have not. I I cannot have that. I'm too adult for that. I'm yeah. too adult for that. And just because we're family doesn't mean we are entitled to each other. Right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You still have to I respect I, me. You're still an option in my life, just like a friend, a coworker, anything else. You know, if I'm elevating and, and treating everything else like you have to serve me at a certain level to be to gain access to me, the same thing goes for family as well. Yeah. And I feel like I heard this quote, and I might butcher it, but this is my interpretation. Um, like family members play a role, like it's a role of a person, not necessarily a relationship. Right. So I think But people people think that that a, a title, like, okay, but we don't have a relationship 
you have a right type. right but but i think that that's a societal maybe cultural expectation like oh well that's your mom oh that's your sister but it's actually like a role that they that they have and, and i think a relationship is earned a relationship is built based on compatibility and yeah. just because you're my mom doesn't mean that we're compatible just because you're my sister doesn't mean that we're compatible yes um and the same standards apply when we're not compatible Ooh. then there's lots of space distance um and love from afar i love that I lo it was a comment I saw that I wanted to, to tell you about. Uh, show you. Blocked and blessed. Blocked and blessed. <laughs> oh, so Black Natural Beauty 28 said, what's the benefits of, I, I'm assuming journaling, I've tried it and I don't like it. So, oh, sure now you don't, you don't journal. So, is there, is there, do you feel, feel like you don't like journaling? Is that what? No, I, I, I liked it. I don't like it enough to do it. Mm. Um, I think that I have been more intentional on being verbally expressive mm -hmm. with myself and with mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. That's good. Because, because I think that's something I struggled with before. Mm -hmm. I used to like just keep everything in. And now I, I tell people where they are with me, whether that's negative or good. And I'm trying to go less on the person them out and more to the you know <laughs> me verbally, too verbally uh, share grown. with them in a positive positive way of you got me fucked up um <laughs> so i think for me i'm just more verbal these days than i am in a space of wanting to write it down mm -hmm. um and even when there's things going on in my head i you know i verbalize how thankful i am to God, like I verbally say it out loud. Um, I verbally praise and worship, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's just where I am right now. That's beautiful. I love that. I love it because someone just said, What are some positive alternatives to journaling? Oh, and I think you kind of hit the nail yeah. on the head. Yeah. But Jessica, you can, yeah. I mean, please. No, I, I was just about to say there's different ways to process. So, yeah, writing is one, you know, talking. So, you have talk therapy, you know, sometimes when clients. Are going through more intense issues i will have them talk and then write at, in the same mm -hmm. session um music you know if, if you think about your five senses you know um all those ways you can process so you can listen to music um there's a thing and i forgot the name of it but like where they do body massages and it's related to to mental health and they're sort of like releasing the tension or the emotions that's stored in your body um, you know, some people are emotional eaters. Now I wouldn't recommend that all the time, but, but, you know, just any way to process feelings have to come in, but they also have to go out. Ooh. So whatever that looks Ooh. like. Feelings like, have to come in, but they have to yeah, go They out. are like uh, the ocean. You, you got to bring them in. They come in, whether we like it or not, but it's our job to figure out how we process it to get it out. That's why people are really like emotionally constipated. Like for real, it's a real thing. Okay, we need to, we need, we have to hop off, but I think we, that, I think that's a really good talking point at some point. Okay. We're going to get people being emotionally constipated. constipated. <laughs> Don't be emotionally constipated is a great takeaway. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> And we don't want emotional diarrhea because it's the two. We want we want that regulation. Right. Regulation. It's, it's true. Know, in and out. It's in true. Out. Do you have any pointers or anything you want to leave everyone with today? Ooh. If you guys need any help, please feel free to reach out to Newbie Counseling. Yeah. Um, you know, Absolutely. find someone that you can speak to that can help you navigate life. You know, not chat GPT. Not chat. Like I yeah. Say. If okay. you go and get your annual, you know, health checkup, you should probably annually check your mental state as well. That's true. And she's changing the name. I am. I'm changing it to Monarch Behavioral Health. Uh, Monarch that represents a butterfly. So we're super excited. It's rolling out January 2024. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Stay oh, tuned. I should save this. We saving this. Okay. Yeah, we saving it. We saving it. Okay. Um, I do, you know, cause the topic was about losing motivation and, and what do you do? Um, more transparency that that's the space that I was in. I feel like just probably starting Monday. Um, I got myself out of it. So, and, and it turned into journaling. So I'm glad every, everything happens for a reason, you know, and just to stay encouraged that 
if you are going through the bridge, you just started the bridge or halfway through the bridge, know that there is another side, the other side, and that's where we're all trying to go. Um, mm. And stay encouraged. Um, utilize your support system. Ground yourself. Um, and, you know, life is life, and we're all in this together. We are all in this together. In this together. And that's what these chats are for, is mm -hmm. so that everyone can get a different perspective from a different type of person. Um, and I love everyone chiming in today. All the comments have been amazing. Um, love y'all. Thank you for yeah. always tapping in with us. I'm going to save it. So yeah. um, we do this with your friends month. or anyone else who missed it. Yep. Yeah, we do this once a month. So if y'all see crickets on my page again, just hit Call her that DM and say what's, out. what's going on. <laughs> you know? Call her um, out. But yeah, our, our goal is to give back. Um, I, I love our relationship and, and I, I'm so blessed and grateful to be able to be transparent and to share what we've been able to create over the years with, with the world. So I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Love, love y'all. Love y'all. Bye, 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 y'